we pet them or do they also bite the back? I don't know. Spotty, thank you for the birthday candle. Cookie, thank you for the birthday candle. Anyway, today is my 28th birthday. I'm excited about that. I don't really know what I'm going to do about turning 28. I kind of want to work on the same plan that I've been working on for the past three or four years. <laughs> Guys, there's no one there. Now, I'll give you an observation that I've gotten out of the past year of my life as I've started to do things is I'm much more mindful while I'm doing something that it may be the last time I do it. That doesn't mean, oh, I'm gonna die. It just means like, you know, I was swimming yesterday and I was like, wow, this could be the only time I end up swimming in Prior Lake. It may not happen again, you never know. So, and in trying to enjoy those moments and not take them for granted, you know, swim around in the lake, try and film the lake bottom with the GoPro and see if I can see anything cool, which I couldn't, I'll overlay that footage. And in general, just trying to enjoy as much of my life as I can, because I'm only gonna get to be 28 for another 365 days. But I can make them some of the best days of my life. Anyway, there's your morning inspiration. I'm going to the gym. So, Cindy and I went to the gym. It was a good time. We were there for a little bit, just long enough. Now we're headed to Hope Breakfast Bar. We're going to try and get food in like a 40 minute time span. We have to be out of there by 1.40. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. She won't tell me what we're doing afterwards. We just have to be there at two. I think it's the science museum with my family. But we'll see. The lavender vanilla latte. Yeah, I would try that. So Cindy got the biscuits and gravy. No, I got no, the no, pork no. belly and biscuit. Pork belly and biscuit, my bad. She's like, it has cheesy grits. And I'm like, cheesy grits are the best thing of all time. I'll eat them. Yeah, then I got fried chicken and waffles. All right, guys, quick intermission here. I apologize for not filming the food. Um, Cindy and I were so excited to eat that we just forgot, and that's something that happens often. So instead, I'm leaving you with this video of Spot rolling around in the yard, and I'll do better next time. Cindy took me to get a massage, a one hour couple's massage. And then I drank a whole liter of water. And now we're headed to the Maplewood Mall to see this petting zoo thing. You shall not pass. Here. <laughs> Jesus. Uh huh. I'll get you one, don't worry. Yeah, you guys have to share. Gandalf, and this one can be uh, Radagast. They're really big, honestly. <laughs> Hello. Oh, they have webbed feet. What? Like coarse or soft? Really coarse. It looks coarse. <laughs> so you know how everyone that's like, oh, COVID-19 started from bats or whatever? Well, this is COVID-22 right here. Yeah. I didn't think they were that big. That's like his biggest spot. Wait, they look so cool. Uh -huh. Hello, baby dear. Oh, you give me a kiss? They do not feed baby dear. I didn't feed it. Okay. 
I just, I was about to. Yeah, no, I put the cup over there. Mm. I know I taste like soap. Yeah. That one's licking that one's butt. Are you a happy goat? That one's like, please take me with you. I'm gonna have a whole conversation about whether or not this is ethical. I know, right? There's a porcupine. A grissom. I just want to note here, earlier I questioned whether or not this place was ethical. Uh, from what I found online, it looks like they do treat these animals well and take them out of rotation here to go to another farm elsewhere. Um, but, you know, whether or not that's true, I can't say. So I hope they're treating the animals ethically. That's important to me. surprised. I had no idea.